we're gonna look today at how much salt and sugar will dissolve in 100 milliliters of water at three different temperatures. So we're gonna start out with 100 milliliters of our ice water, measuring to the top of the meniscus to make sure we have an accurate, consistent amount. And then measure our temperature, 39 degrees Fahrenheit is where we're starting. We're gonna use this scoop, which counts as five milliliters so that we can count by fives of the salt and sugar we add. So there was five, dissolved easily. And 10, here goes 15, and 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, it looks like it's gonna be about 45 milliliters of sugar dissolved in that 100 milliliters of cold water. So now, same deal with salt, which is at 36 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And we got about 30 milliliters of salt you can see it saturated down at the bottom that didn't dissolve now 75 degree water 5 10 15 for sugar 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 and 60 milliliters in the warm water of sugar now we're at 76 degrees Fahrenheit, one, two, which is 10 milliliters, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we've got 35 milliliters in our warm water, and you can see that a few of those final milliliters were saturated and didn't dissolve very well. Let's do hot water, 118, here we go, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, Eighty-five, taking a little bit longer to get those last few milliliters in there. Hmm, can we add one more? Ninety. Keep stirring, keep stirring. I think it's pretty saturated. So there we got ninety milliliters of sugar in that hot water. We can see a little bit of that unsaturated sugar at the bottom. All right, 123 degrees for our salt. Here we go, five, 10, 15, 20. Dissolving pretty fast with that warm water. 25, 30, and 35. And we can see when we dump it out, the salt that did not go into the solution that stuck at the bottom.